Hello, welcome to this lesson on metallurgical processes for the recycling of metals. Generally speaking, there are two major types of secondary resources for metals recycling. The first one is metal scrap and the second one is metal containing wastes or residues. Metal scrap will be the main topic in this video because metal containing wastes or residues are from more specific sources and processes. Metal scrap is already in metallic form and it can take a relatively pure form when it is collected from product manufacturing. In this case it is called new scrap or production scrap. Metal scrap can also be in a very contaminated and complex form, for example as the scrap, form, uh, scrap from end-of-life products such as obsolete electronics. In this case it is called old scrap. New scrap formed at production manufacturing is also often specifically collected and remelted in the plant or sold to remelters for production of the same type and quality of metals or alloys. This is a common practice for aluminum and copper. Remelting is a simple physical process of heating, melting and casting. It is important to keep the metals from oxidation loss during remelting. The main operating cost is the energy which can be electrical or from fossil fuels, such as oil or natural gas. Since no re, uh, refining is required, the energy consumption and operational costs are relatively low. Old scrap, such as scrap from the end of life products, is contaminated by different materials. Copper scraps from cables, wires, automotive parts and electronic waste are typical examples of end of life scrap. They need refining using different te refining technologies, such as pyro, hydro and electrometallurgical uh, methods. During the pyrometallurgical refining, only impure materials or non-metallic contaminants are removed. Examples of hydro and pyrometallurgical plants in Europe are Umicore, New Boliden and Arubis. If a metal scrap contains a lot of other metals and is contaminated, hydro and ele electrometallurgical uh, recycling are often used. Hydrometallurgical recycling can be flexible and robust, however, from an energy consumption perspective, it is not always favourable. Printed circuit boards, boards from e-waste can be treated hydrometallurgical through acid or alkaline leaching. In this case, an oxidizing agent may be needed, for example oxygen or, or uh, for acidic dissolution of copper. Leached copper will be purified, purified through solvent extraction. The copper will be finally reduced to pure metallic metal through elect electrolysis. Next to old and new scrap we have the metal containing wastes or residues. The metals in these materials are usually in an oxidized state or in a form of various compounds. Examples are tailings from mining and mineral processing operations uh, slags, and the residues from foundries, as well as fluid dust of metallurgical processes or waste sludge and other residues from chemical and other process industries. Metal containing waste and residues can be smelted together with ore and concentrates in smelters. Depending on the state of metals, being oxidized or not, and the type of metals, also combinations of pyro and hydrometallurgy are used. Per type of metal, con uh, metal containing waste and residue, the pyro or hydrometallurgical process is, or its combinations must be fine-tuned. So, concluding for metals production from recycled sources, a distinction is made between metal scrap and metal containing waste or residues. Relatively pure metal scrap from production processes is called a new scrap and is better directly remelted to a new metal or melted and refined to a pure metal or alloys without unnecessary oxidation and reduction. Old scrap, such as scrap from end of life products, is quite complex scrap. This scrap can be refined via a pyro, hydro and electrical metallurgical methods as discussed in the video before. For metal containing waste and residues, both pyro and hydrometallurgical technologies are used. Its combinations depending on the type of feed. Some critical metals are not normally produced as byproducts or co-products of the regular materials. They are use, uh, their use in products is generally, generally in trace amounts at a low uh, concentrations. Therefore, recycling of these critical metals from end-of-life products is much more challenging than, of, than the other metals. For this, more efficient and cost-effective extraction and refining technologies are needed in the future.